Hey guys, I hope that you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more of our Forever Golden run here in EU4. Um, so, looking okay. Um, pure numbers, we're doing fine. His manpower is actually going down quite a bit. I think it's probably in my best interest to, um, rooting out corruption, huh? So I need, I don't need to be rooting out corruption, so let's not do that. Um, trading in coffee, yeah, that's not what I want. I want to be trading in spices. Let's go ahead and have you guys suppressing rebels. Yep, they already are. Okay, well, I'm doing them all I can. Let's have you guys come on out here, see if we can, uh, Let's see here. Who's how much trade is France isn't collecting hardly anything over there. They're not collecting much over here. So their trade income is actually not that much. Yeah, France is only collecting like 5 ducats there. So it's much more important that I continue to um protect trade in Genoa. Oh cool, we're catching out a fleet over here. Looks like we're stomping them quite handedly. Did I just see sp trading in spices? Trading in sugar. Hmm. Uh, I guess not. Okay, well, that's fine. So, maybe piecing these guys out separately may be in my best interest. Uh, Tuscany is going to be the major one because they have a big army. I have about 30,000. Give or take, eh, 20 some thousand. Um, it's an entire stack, but uh, that's tough. I'd rather them not do this, but this is farmland, so there's not really a whole lot I can do. I could take Defender of the Faith for a little bit of extra morale, but uh, I think Miltech is going to be more important. We're still ahead, right? Let's go ahead and buy down our inflation a few ticks. Okay. Big fight going over here in Paris. Who wants to attack the Commonwealth? Um, interest per annum for a while or legitimacy? Well, I already have legitimacy, so I suppose we'll just go with that. Um... I suppose I can try for this, but I don't think it's going to work. Yeah, I don't think this is going to work for us. Yeah, okay. That's fine. They still took pretty heavy losses, but uh, these fights are not going to be something we can do. We honestly just have to come at them from all directions and siege them down and then hopefully have them surrender. Okay, so we're done with some uh, some colonies. So let's go ahead and recall you guys. Let's go ahead and send you guys over here. And then we're also going to want to send somebody over here and then somebody over here. Let's make sure we are keeping our guys. So let's go ahead and take prestige. That sounds good. So they won this siege over here, and I lost 10,000 some men in that war, so that's, or in that battle, so that's pretty bad. France just has their doom stack running around. So their manpower is tanking pretty quickly though. Once their manpower goes down, I think that they're going to be in trouble. So... Let's go ahead and, uh... Export the natives, if you will. Let's get you guys over there. For some reason, I have no sailors, so uh, let's spend some points on getting some money on getting some sailors then, eh? <clears throat> it's because I have all these guys over here protecting trade. Let's see if we can get this this fort back over here. Commonwealth is definitely looking for a fight over here. No, they're not. They're gonna see John Paris though. 
Let's go ahead and send half these guys off over here. It's not ideal because they're definitely exposed over here. But uh, it's in my best interest to make sure that we are... Not losing as much manpower as we possibly can. Good news. Hey, Calabar. That's funny. It got switched to uh, Reformed a while back by an event. <laughs> and it got switched back to Catholic by an event. Free wall breach. I like that. Looks like... Uh... Oh my gosh. How is our morale just so low compared to theirs? They have good prestige. They got Sacagawea. Ilan is 20%. It's just so strong, man. It's a hard way to get around that. There's not much of a way to get around that, I mean. Um, burger loyalty for clergy loyalty or not. I can take out the loan for that. I don't mind. Just keeping a close eye on over here. Make sure that I don't see a doom stack just appear out of the fog of war to kill me. Let's go ahead and get those rebels out of there. Or not rebels, the uh, natives, I mean. Okay, very good. Make sure everything is in the correct... Who else is over here? Burgundy's 1k men. Very nice. Don't know why you guys are attaching to me. I'd rather you didn't. Let's um not have you attached to me over here either. So, oh my gosh, what? Commonwealth has lost eighty thousand men. Is that a joke? That is so crazy, dude. Let's get a couple of mercs down in southern France, or southern Italy, and see if we can siege some stuff back. We've lost the siege of Onzebrook. Huh. The boy is low. Commonwealth is good. Commonwealth is still high. I cannot believe how many men he's... how many... men he's lost in this war. Damn, dude. French manpower is starting to wane. I wouldn't say it's low, though. That's the problem. It's still not low. But, uh... One stab for free. Sounds good to me. Okay. So it seems like he is getting swarmed right now, though. Which is good. Let's go ahead and have you guys inch your way up. We're just going to siege down all this stuff down there. An excellent minister. Very good. So just a lot of free points and then a half off Diplo rep guy. I do have my trade, but uh, I suppose having some extra Diplo points would be good. Go ahead and hire him. Totally can afford it. Matter of fact, we can totally afford a level 3 guy over here as well. And we, we should, honestly. I don't... I don't gain anything by not having it, so... Other than a couple of ducats a month. Which... When you're basically buying... Monarch points, it's a good trade, in my opinion. So, these guys are dead. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is bad. Um, let's go ahead... Nope. Have you guys march on over here. Uh, excuse me? So I can march on to these forts, but I cannot march over here with this stack that literally marched up this way. I... Because he took this fort in this war with him, now my 20 stack is just stuck there. Okay. Well, if that's the case, let's just have these guys group up. And I'm still getting attacked anyways. Let's see if they can reinforce. They got stack wiped. Yeah.
because of some janky fort mechanic. I literally just lost half of my men. Half of my entire army just got killed because of some janky fort mechanic. Ooh, that is so, so unfortunate. Like, this army's stuck here. I, ca I cannot get away. They are literally locked here. I am so genuinely flustered right now. What is that? Yeah, they're gonna die now. Stack wiped. <laughs> Paradox, man. <laughs> I lost 40,000 men because of a freaking janky fort mechanic. That is so unfort. That is tragic. That is so tragic. Ah. <sighs> Man, whatever. Whatever, man. <clears throat> that is absolutely bogus. So bogus. That literally just like made this whole campaign so much less enjoyable because the French are overpowered. All right, we're definitely going to be spending some uh, some money here. We're gonna win this war, I don't care how we do it, we're gonna win it. Man, that is quite irritating though, I have to say. I feel like I just got shafted so hard by the, by a random mechanic that shouldn't be. Like what, what happened to my return province? Why could I not go back to Montpelier? I hope you guys see what I'm talking about. Like these two forts, or these two armies were right here and here. This one moved up here, this one moved up there. France pieced out Pope Man and took Avignon. And this fort somehow locked those guys that started here, moved from here to here, so they could not go back to this province. Which, from what I understand about return province mechanics, I should be able to go back there. Basically, no matter what. But that is, uh, that's quite tragic. Anyways, if the Commonwealth pieces out, that's going to be a big deal. But uh, I honestly think most of the war score is just coming from occupying Burgundy. Nope, mostly from battles. Fun game. Okay, prestige or stab. In this case, I'm going to take the prestige for extra morale. Uh, the mill points are going to be super helpful. Good thing we're still focusing it. We're going to need to be. Okay, very good. They're gonna go kill them. Um, let's just go ahead and come on over here. Siege down these two. Is there no fort in Naples? You got rid of it. Awesome. All right. Let's see here. I really want that mill tech before I start engaging in battles. I think it would be irresponsible for me to engage in a battle without it. All right, Commonwealth is not doing too hot. Let's see here. Yeah, Burgundy is gonna peace out any day now. There's not really much I can do to stop him other than ask him nicely, but uh, if he's gonna do it, he's gonna do it. We're doing well financially, I can peace out, it's no big deal. Utrecht might peace out soon. Let's improve or take you back. Let's see if Utrecht wants out. What? Okay, they bumped wrap up to high again. I feel like this is not a smart move. But I can't really afford him to take that siege there. If he goes if I see an army reinforcing, I'm just gonna have to leave though. He's Excuse me? <laughs> Dude, I... Okay, man. That is just wild. And now they're over here killing off my men. My mercs. That's fine. I kind of anticipated. So he peaced out. What did he just give up? A lot. Wow. France is so overpowered, man. Jeez. And I just lost that fight very handedly, and I outnumbered him like almost two to one. Oof, this is uh, quite, uh, 
quite the debacle. I was under the impression that we were much better off this time around, so it's quite sad because he lost his capital and he's gonna he's immediately gonna peace out here. Commonwealth, seed your stuff back, please. Francis lost a lot of men, but I've lost more. Luckily for me, it was mostly mercs just in that fight right there, but he's going to win this fort back as well, which is no good for me. Yeah. He's just going to stand there. Luckily, we do have our defense. Our defensive um, thingy. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Um, let's go ahead and send some more guys over here, and we can recall from the ones that are already pretty much good to go. So let's just have you guys come over here, kill off those rebels. Oh wait, we didn't do that one yet, so let's uh, not do that then. I can't imagine they're going to win this siege anytime soon. Just really need that mill tech before I can take another fight. My heart can't. Oh my gosh, they're so expensive to suppress the rebels. It is so expensive. Let's just go ahead and yeah. Hmm. Let's build a couple mercs over here. Have them used to uh, suppress the natives. Hmm. All right, that's fine. And they're just back to sieging everything back again. Okay. Very good. Let's have you guys come on over there. Alright, so he, he cannot reinforce. So I think I can handle this fight in the hills. So that's much better for me. Let's run away. <laughs> And this is Utrecht. If he doesn't win that 28%, we're good to go. Okay. Tuscany's gonna want out pretty soon. If I blockaded him... Let's see if I can blockade him. He won that siege. Okay. So let's just go ahead and... Uh, Take that back. I'll spend the mill. It's worth it. Let's see if we can get Tuscany out of the war next month, probably. Somehow, he didn't go down in enthusiasm, which is weird. I feel like that's uh, the way that that works, but that's okay. Alright, and they want to march all those men over there and take some attrition, which is good. Ooh. So they don't have a general, so it should be a pretty easy fight. We just overrun them, and then we're gonna have to flee because he's gonna reinforce in time. Oh, he... Okay. Interesting how that works out. Anyways, France has low enthusiasm, Tuscany wants out, I can actually get some money from them. <laughs> Very good. So that clears out some army. Commonwealth took his capital back. He's sieging down Switzerland. Let's see here. Switzerland I can probably piece out eventually. Let's go ahead and protect trade in Genoa again. Make sure we got that money coming in. Um, how's France's manpower looking? It's going up. <laughs> He's gained like 10,000 since I looked last. So that's uh, That's not going to work for me. Um, we do have the war goal, but aside from all that, we're still just losing countless wars, countless battles. We've taken such heavy losses, us individually. It's crazy. Hmm. <clears throat> if we can peace out Switzerland, that would be huge, but uh, it doesn't look like it's going to happen. We're going to do the same thing we just did a minute ago. We're just going to recruit some rub some mercs down here. And we're going to uh, siege back this land in an attempt to get a bit of extra 
men down here. So they want to come on over to Navara, which would be great, actually. I would like that. Because I can't win this seat, this fat battle. No chance. We can take mill points. Mill tech, I mean. So let's do that. Um, we want defensive pips, so let's go with charge infantry. No. They're both the same defensive pips, so let's go with the fire. And then let's go with defensive morale pips. Okay. Hopefully they don't win a 5%, 7% I mean. I need to get my morale up. Oh, hmm. Okay. Some professionalism is nice. One more month. So Switzerland is on medium, Utrecht is on medium. Okay. Like, I can't, I don't think I can win this, that's the problem. If I attack this, he's just gonna reinforce. <sighs> he has so many more cannons than I do as well. Tough. Um, let's go ahead and get you guys out of there. Free prestige is good. Okay. So. They are both going down. No, Utrecht somehow went up in enthusiasm, but uh, a peace offer. White peace. I really don't want that though, man. I just... I can't afford these pieces. This has been a five year war and I've lost, we've lost 300,000 on our side. <sighs> His war exhaustion is going up. Dare I say, he might actually have some rebel issues if we can continue. Does he have religious unrest? He does. War exhaustion, non accepted culture, overextension as well. Hmm. This is tough. Okay. I'm not sure. I definitely think I need to peace out pretty soon. Army tradition for burger. Yeah, for sure. That's that's totally worth. Uh, let's go ahead and take the new world charters as well. Expand colonial borders. Sounds good to me. Um, I think it's worth to just uh, get these rebels sorted. Or these, I keep calling them rebels, and it actually sounds like I'm just being... Like, I'm trolling, but I'm really... I just keep saying the wrong thing, I promise. Um, we're going to spend the mill points to get that sorted out. As much as it absolutely pains me to do it, I think I do need to white piece them. I'm just so annoyed about this, man. I can't afford for them to take that. <sighs> you guys are an absolute turds. Worthless. Um, Switzerland is just too strong, man. All those forts, like mountain, farmland, Mountain, mountain, hills, hills. Two mountain forts, two hills forts. This is a hills forts as well. This is grasslands. But it's just like, what am I supposed to do about this? How do I get over? How do I get them out of there? Let's see here. This is just, I wouldn't call that a failure, but it's definitely been a struggle for sure. Um,. Just go ahead and get rid of these mercs so I'm not paying for them. And we can just uh, recruit some manpower into our ranks. But, uh, man, that is tough. That really breaks my heart.
optimal time. Wow, that's a nice little hug box you've got up here. Deli, looking thick, boy. Hey, Deli, you want to be my ally? Do you have a truce with Balmanis? You do not. Let's go ahead and pick up a friendly neighborhood Indian. And then if I were to attack him... If you weren't in debt, you would join. Cool. Well, I think it's about time we paid off his debt. And then attack Balmanis. But we'll do that in the next one. Hope you guys are enjoying. Show your support. Leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you would have done differently in this war with France. If you think, should I have just taken on a ton of debt and murked up a ton, a ton, a ton, and then just, you know, massive waved? Or, you know, being behind on Miltech was huge and uh, it's tough, but I think the next war with him will be quite different. Let's put it that way. I think if it weren't for having Switzerland in here and the Commonwealth being so far away... I think it probably would have gone a little bit better. He also like instant sieged Dijonet, which is annoying, but whatever. Anyways, if you guys want to check out the Discord or support me on my Patreon channel, the links are going to be in the description down below. Um, we are not going to do that. But with all of that being said, this is Chewy Shoot, and I will catch you guys later. A big special thanks to Bloodbound92, Valentel, CWG, Dutch Terror, J Clampett, Yudaldo, Classified for Life, Corbett Gaming, Michael Walker, Palmer, Jonathan Crane, Airborne Animal, and all my other awesome supporters on Patreon. I appreciate you guys. Check out the two series linked on the left and the right, and don't forget to subscribe.